Hey, what is going on guys? This is Ben here and today bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about what went down on the Boom Beach forums yesterday or well, a couple hours ago. It was another Boom Beach Ask Me Anything and they did one of these a while ago that talked about anything that's coming in the future for Boom Beach um, and anything that might be coming in the next update. So we have a few confirmed things which are coming out for the Boom Beach update which they said should be sometime next week. So. Hope you guys are excited for that. Hope you guys are excited for the Boom Beach update. Finally, we get some insights on it that I can share with you guys. Um, so make sure you like for that, guys. And also, be able to subscribe to the channel if you're not ready. If you want to stay tuned for the sneak peeks and exclusive footage like that. Because then we'll actually get to see gameplay before the update comes out. But alright. So, the, one of the big things is, like I already stated, the, the, like, the update is actually coming out next week sometime. We don't know the full date, but it's right around the corner. Um, and then another big thing that I want to talk about is HQ21. So I'll throw a picture up on here. You can see the building that's surrounded by that like wall is HQ21. It looks pretty badass. I do like the the size of it. It looks like a like a little mini mansion. If you like, if you were next to that, you'd be like, oh god, it looks pretty sweet. But then we have uh, to the right of that, right to the next to that is a shield generator. Sorry, I forgot the name of it. We yeah, have the shield generator. Looks pretty sweet. I mean, like. What they said they want the shield generator to do is kind of like slow down those warrior attacks or be a counter to the warrior attacks and then um, also for smoky zuka or smoky heavy zuka attacks. So that's going to be interesting. That's going to probably change the boom beach meta a little bit because for high victory points, <clears throat> excuse me, my, my voice is a little sick so sorry if it starts to give out a little bit but yeah. <clears throat> like all like the high victory point attacks are smoky heavy zuka and the, sh the shield generator will definitely kind of counter that because the only way to get rid of that shield <clears throat> is to destroy the shield generator uh, prototype module or you can just like burn through the barrier it adds, it adds like health to it so that's interesting there and then on the bottom left there we have that little that little uh that little thing down there that is actually a shock mine and that was one of the things that Reversal, actually, when we were in Boom Beach, at the Boom Beach HQ um, last May, talked about that, adding the shock mine. So that's pretty sweet that his idea is getting added into the game, the little shock mine there. I don't know how many of them we'll get, maybe like one or two, because those are pretty strong, I'm, I take it. Uh, but those are the big things, like, those are the new things. Freaking awesome. That's why I've been saving up my prototype modules. I want to see how well this works against warrior attacks and everything like that. And I also hope that some other people have that as well, because I want to attack against it, take out that shock, or no, not shock mine, the shield generator. Um, so that's sweet. I'm excited for those. Those are the huge things. <clears throat> and in other news, we also have, for task forces, we have improvements on that. Uh, I'll throw up another picture here. You can see there's like a a like list, or there's a, like a tab that you can go to that has player's name, and it goes all the way down for everyone in the task force. Their intel collected, and then it has their attacks done, attacks missed, and then the percentages on the right. So if you're a task force leader, task force officer, you can just go to this tab, or even a member can check it out to see how you're doing in the task force. Look at the tab to see on the attacks done, attacks missed, look at the percentage, and then I don't know how it will work. Like say you complete an operation, like 100% destroy the operation. I don't know if it'll like just give everyone a, a point saying yeah it doesn't matter if you attack or not or it'll just give like everyone a buy because then it doesn't really matter if your entire task force attacked or not because the operation is already destroyed you know what I'm saying so that's something that I have to ask them on more or we'll figure out when the update does come out but at least it's something to help the officers to help the leaders check to see if people are attacking the operations or not because that is the big the big issue but I'm glad they added that in there and then another thing is <clears throat> talking about the future um, for like future updates they have for about this is more about heroes um, they said they're talking about heroes if you if you've played Clash of Clans you know what a hero is it's like a, a troop you always have you never have to train it you just like build it once and it never goes away it's like on your base protects it and then you can bring it into battle but like say it, gets, it dies in battle it like sleeps for a while so that's what a hero is um, so maybe in the future there might be a hero there are talks of it which is pretty sweet. Um, I'm just kind of going down the list of what things I wrote down from the Ask Me Anything. If you guys want the full list, I'll have a link to, the, to it in the description below if you want to read through it all yourself. Just look for the Boom Beach replies on there. Um, but another big thing is Hammerman is split into seven stages. Um, what that means is it's going to be similar to Dr. Terror, where like 
Hammerman Stage 1 will be like a certain difficulty, Hammerman Stage 2 will be like a certain certain difficulty, and then Hammerman Stage 7 will be like the hardest difficulty. And you, there's no more like three tries. You can try it as, as many times as you want, and try and get as far as you want on the Hammerman. So it's similar to Dr. Terror, seven stages, you have unlimited, unlimited whatever it's called, attempts. And then I don't know how the the rewards will work. Like if you still get only prototype modules or what? They haven't just they haven't released that. I guess we'll figure it out in the upcoming update. But yeah, that's gonna be sweet. And then also, Hammerman can use gunboat now, so that's a big thing. So we might see some scorchers, some tanks, some barrages. I mean, he's he's got what like a billion gunboat already. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, and then also another big thing is achievements. They are adding seven like new achievements with like three three tiers. So that's like. Seven, seven new achievements that have three stars to get, so they didn't tell us what they are. If you guys want to leave in the comment section below what you think these achievements are, I'll, I'll read them off to you. The first one is Explorer, so maybe that's like how many different maps you or the, I don't know, if you clear through the archipelago. Uh, gear Up, that has to do with Gearheart, I'm pretty sure. Hammer Down, I, I'm pretty sure that might be against Hammerman Attacks. Outfitter. Perfectionist and perfectionist might be like if you kill a base or clear a base without losing any troops and then tinker. So the, those are the seven explore, gear up, hammer down, outfitter, perfectionist, and tinker. Let me know your thoughts on what you guys think they are. Um, I know I, I can probably know what the obvious ones are because just from reading them, like gear up, hammer down, and perfectionist, but the other ones I don't really know. Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, <clears throat> and the last big thing I want to talk about that I thought was really interesting. I talked about this in the last Boom Beach Ask Me Anything. It was about Task Force Wars or Task Force vs. Task Force. And something was really interesting to me because like, I thought maybe they might have ruled that out because I really haven't heard much from them about it. But in the Ask Me Anything, they said um, they've been actually working on like designs and like mock-up designs for Task Force vs. Task Force. So that's something to take note because that might be coming soon. I hope it's coming soon. Because Task Force vs. Task Force, or Task Force Wars, whatever you want to call it, is going to be awesome. So, build up your Task Force guys, they're still working on it, and if they're still working on it like this long later, it means they're probably coming up with some sweet, like, sweet ideas, some sweet whatever, and make it like really cool. Because knowing Boom Beach, they take their time on, on like a lot of things, and if it's not right, they won't add it. It has to be like perfect for their standards. So when the time is right, I feel as though they will add the task forces versus task forces when they come up with like an awesome idea for it. So with them saying that, I feel as though it's like a definite yes that it will be coming to the game. It's just a matter of when, which is which makes me excited <clears throat> because uh, like two months ago, or no, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, like my voice is about to give up by the way, but like four months ago, whenever they did the last one or five months ago, I think it was. I didn't know if like they were serious about adding it, and this one it kind of makes me feel like they are if they're still talking about it. Um, but the last thing is, update. Hopefully next week is coming out, and then they said this. Let me, let me let me quote their words. The update after the one going live next week is going to be huge. So that means if you don't consider this a huge update, the one after this update is going to be huge. So that's two updates. That are pretty big because this one's pretty big guys like hq21 all new upgrades um shock mine that shield shield uh, shield generator and then improvements to task forces new achievements hammerman changes everything like that so i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you're excited hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you like it and don't forget to subscribe for more boom beach videos if you're not ready hope you guys have a wonderful day or night and i'll see you guys later